Hello and welcome to this video in which I'm going to show you how to set up MailChimp on your Fedora school. First of all, let's take a look at MailChimp and you can do this by going to the MailChimp website, which is at MailChimp.com. So let's do this now. So here we are at the MailChimp website and the fundamental reason for wanting to sign up to MailChimp is so that you can build an email list of the people who subscribe to your school and with whom you can therefore communicate by sending them emails or indeed by setting up autoresponders which automatically go up to them in situations like when they sign up to your school to start with or indeed on a periodic basis when, or when you want to promote uh, a new course. So this is a really important marketing tool to a set of people who are already um, taking your courses and with whom you already have a relationship. Now, this is not going to be about how to use MailChimp, but I'm purely going to show you how to set it up. And the next thing I want to look at is which account should you set up on MailChimp? To find this out, we need to look at the pricing page. And there are three different accounts, entrepreneur, growing business and high volume sender. And I think to start off with, you should be signing up for the entrepreneur uh, account for a very simple reason. It allows you to send 12,000 emails to 2,000 subscribers for free. Now, 12,000 emails to 2,000 subscribers is um, six emails per subscriber. So um, the chances of you getting to 2,000 subscribers in the near future, I would suggest with the greatest of respect, relatively small. So, you know, why not say start there? And then if you develop a really strong list, then you can start paying for it. So that is the account I think you should be subscribing for. The next thing you do is go to this account and click on the button, sign up for free. So the first thing you need to do is to put up a, an email address and I'm going to put mine in username, password, and then just create my account. Now, the next thing will happen is they will send you an email to that account to prove that the email that you've put in is correct. And when you get that, you just need to click on the link on, on that email and that will activate your MailChimp account. The next thing I recommend you do is you click on this link to the Getting Started Guide, which will open a separate page and you will be able to read through some of the basics of running a campaign and managing your MailChimp account. So they've got a before you start and manage your list, build a campaign, view your reports. So it's worth you spending some time, particularly if you're not familiar with using uh, email list managers and autoresponders. Once you've logged into your account on MailChimp, you need to do two things. First of all, you need to create an API key. And the second thing you need is you need to create a list. So let's first of all, go and create the API key, which is very straightforward. Go to your account, and if you look at the far left-hand side and click on the little arrow, and you go to Account Settings, and when you're in Account Settings, click on Extras and then API Keys. Now you can see I've already created an API key for the account I'm setting up, and I did that by simply clicking on this button here that says Create a Key. Now obviously I've blurred out the key to keep it confidential, but that is as simple as it is to create an API key. The next thing we'll do is we'll create the email list. Keep a note of this number, this API key, because you're going to need to import it into your um, Fedora School uh, integration setting uh, for MailChimp. So the next step is to create a list and you click on the list button. I have no list set up at the moment, but you then click on the button on the far right hand side at the top that says create a list. And then you fill in the information that they ask you for the list name, the default from email, the default from name, a reminder of people how they got on your list, and then you can get notifications set up, daily summary one by one, or unsubscribe uh, options as well. And then you press, just press save. So I'm gonna go and do that now. Once you've created your list, it will appear in your list tab, and you simply connect, click on the link in order to go into it to manage the settings, which we're going to do now. So now you go to settings and you go to list name and default. And that is the information you're looking for, the list ID. And you need to copy that number. Now, the rest of the information is all about setting up the list, but we're not going to do that in this video. So now I'm going to show you how you take the data for your list ID and for your uh, API for MailChimp 
and put it into your Fedora School account. So here I am back in my Fedora School and I've gone to the Extensions tab on the left hand side and you see you click on the MailChimp on off button and it asks you for the two pieces of information we just created the MailChimp API key and the list ID and I'm going to input those now. Once those have been input you can go back to your dashboard and your MailChimp account is now connected to your Fedora school. Now this is not the end of setting up MailChimp but this is how you connect MailChimp to your Fedora school. So I hope you found that helpful and I look forward to seeing you again very soon in another video.